Good evening, everyone, assuming you're watching this in the evening or good morning, depending on when you checked LinkedIn. Or good afternoon. Or good afternoon. The internet is a funny thing. Uh, welcome to season- Now we're starting to sound like Mr. Rogers. There we go. <laughs> That's right. Welcome to season six, episode 12 of the Micro Vlogcast. We're talking about our service Flourish that we recently launched uh, in the last couple of months. And we're talking about ways that we are helping companies look outside their own organization in order for them to be uh, more excellent in sustainability and more competitive uh, and be leaders in sustainability. And so uh, one of those uh, reports that we're gonna run as a part of the service and really something that even if you aren't a part of the Flourish service, we would argue uh, a sustainability manager should do for a company um, is take a look at your competitors. What are the people we're competing with? How are they talking about sustainability? How are they uh, messaging sustainability? How are they uh, building marketing assets and telling their story? And that takes a lot of work to sort of just do that research and figure out um, you know, what everyone else is doing. And so we decided, hey, we're, we're gonna do that on behalf of our clients as a part of the Flourish service. And uh, so, Wendy, I thought I would throw this one to you and, and just yeah. you know talk a little bit about why we think that that's important. So, so many companies, um, they have some efforts towards sustainability and they're trying to be transparent, but it ends up getting lost in all of the different avenues of social media that we have. So, it might be a singular page on their website. Um, it might be you know a few blasts on social media, but it, it doesn't permeate the brand. Mm, mm, um, and yeah. so, getting that message across the entire brand is, is an important aspect to create competitive advantages um, against your competitors. So one, knowing what your competitors are doing around their brand and sustainability, and then finding ways to create messaging that bumps you up in, based on the efforts that you're doing. So yeah. the data that we're generating re generates validated information that you can then be transparent about on your website, which or in social media aspects, and then just let it permeate through the entire um, website. And Wendy brings up a good point. I think far too often we see, like you go to a website and you can tell the ones where, oh, let's just bolt on some sustainability language and it doesn't really align with our mission, vision, and values. And the other organizations where it seems like it is integral portion of their mission, vision, and values is the sustainability piece. Like that's pretty evident when you're on their website or just looking at, to your point at their marketing materials. And so that's, I think, also some of what we're getting at, which is you can kind of try to bolt that stuff on, but there's, there's a big strategy question there um, that's worth having the discussion around. Yeah, yeah, and we want our clients and every company should have confidence in like that what they're saying is actually different than what their competitors are well saying. Yes. They, should, they should know how their competitors show up in the world so that if they have a different story to tell, they can tell it and tell it accurately with mm -hmm. confidence. And so that's a big part of why we're gonna do that uh, sustainability brand assessment as a part of the Flourish service. So next time we'll jump into why getting a proactive approach into certifications is important. Can you just say, I'm not proud to be American? No. I'm proud to be American. I don't know the words. I don't know the words. <laughs> I don't know the words. <laughs>